name is Artie Fenimore and I'd like to welcome you to Lewis RV Center. I'd like to take you through the brand new 2009 Elite Suite by Mobile Suite. If you follow me inside, I'll take you through a tour of the inside stuff. I'd like to start off here on the inside of the trailer and show you a couple unique features of the Elite Suite. Uh, we'll start over here with a TV. Uh, you have the nice window, so if you're sitting there and you're not watching any TV, you can still see out all sides of your trailer. But then when you turn around and you want to watch TV, all you got to do is hit a button and your TV lifts up and pops out from underneath. And it's all wired into your Bose surround sound. It's all hooked up here so you can play your movies, listen to your uh, CDs, anything you want, MP3. It's all wired in right here with your surround sound. If you notice underneath that, you have your fireplace. Uh, it looks nice, but it also is an electric heater, so it'll heat up this area back here in the trailer. Um, they give you your large storage doors. Uh, if you notice, you have steel ball bearing rollers on your drawer glides. Uh, allows the drawers to open and close really nicely, as well as hold a lot more weight than your other ones. You can also get to the very back of the drawer, so you don't have to reach in to get anything. Uh, there's tons of features on this trailer, so uh, we'll just start at one end and work our way to the back. If you notice in the back, you have your large full-size sofa that has your queen-size air mattress inside. Uh, so if you have some guests come along and they want a nice place to sleep, you'll have the large bed. Also, if you notice this nice wood, co solid wood coffee table, if you're sitting here eating, you can raise it up, have your dinner, make a meal. You can use it for your laptop. Uh, also has storage underneath uh, for magazines or anything else you'd like to store inside there. If you come over here, we have our nice leather recliners. Uh, they're rocker swivel recliners. They give you two chairs. Have your nice reading lights. If you notice the rest of your Bose speakers back here for your surround sound. Um, then as we work our way over to the table and chairs, you also have storage. They put storage everywhere. You can lift your uh, seats up, cushions on your chairs, and you have storage under there. And you also have an actual wood leaf inside your table. So if you have extra people come or you just need a little extra added space, you can open this up and you will have uh, an actual leaf in here. This will show your actual wood leaf. Uh, it's brand new so it's still on the package so we'll leave that for the new owner. Just come over there and shut that back. Uh, if you notice on all your balances around everything, uh, if you go to clean stuff up, you can pull your balance your shade curtains out so they're easy to clean. Everything's just Velcroed in so you just pull it out. You can wash it, you can leave them out, you can put them back in, but it makes it real easy to clean and nice to work with. Uh, we kind of skipped some stuff over here behind you. Obviously you have all your storage space above your big window. Uh, you have all your fluorescent light package um, as well as they do your soft ceiling which helps add to the noise dampening and gives you R23 insulation in your roof. Uh, you have R27 in your floor and R13 in your sidewall. If you come over to the side right here you can see uh, it's the only trailer on the market with a three and a quarter inch sidewall. Uh, there's no hiding that. Uh, if you grab the side of any other trailer you'll only have a two inch wall. This will have a three and a quarter inch wall so R13 will give you the same insulation as you have in your house wall. If you notice here in the kitchen we have your nice solid granite countertops that wrap around in your TK3 model gives you tons of storage and drawer space underneath here they put your elegant lighting all the way across also if you notice they have the nice edge glass here which gives you your nice deep storage cabinets with your adjustable shelves uh, you can add shelves to it um, they're adjustable if you notice you have your bread, bread box here if you lift it up you have your coffee maker and you also have your Bose sub for your surround sound uh, so you can conveniently hide it by just sliding the lid back down uh, over here you have your nice large Avanium microwave oven. If you open it up, it has your racks inside. This will cook, bake, brown, anything you want to do. Biscuits, pizzas, pies. Uh, underneath here you have your burner for your stove top. Oh, there's some lights. Uh, if you look underneath here, you'll have your little handle here to raise and lower for your stove top. Uh, this is thick granite countertop. Uh, it would be very heavy to lift. so. They put your nice electric motor on here. You just hit the button, open it up. Then when you're done with it, you can lift it back down. It'll conveniently shut. And then you have all the storage on the back. If you notice, they even etch into the granite 
on the rock and put your nice big mirror for your backsplash in the back. Uh, they do your larger 22 inch oven as well as your convection microwave oven. Uh, if you're going to cook biscuits or bake a cake or something like that, it gives you plenty of room for that to rise up. Uh, lots of You can also use it as storage or whatever else you need to use it for. If you notice here, you have your nice mowing sink uh, with your pull out lever. Makes it easy to wash your dishes. You have where you can wash on one side, dry on the other. Plenty of countertop space so you can get you a nice rack and stick out so you can dry your dishes. Uh, you have tons of drawers over here. You have four drawers on one side and three large drawers on the other side. If you notice these drawers, you can reach all the way to the back, all solid wood drawers. Uh, with your ball bearing rollers, they do that throughout the coach. Um, if you come over here, you have the largest refrigerator in the industry. Uh, if you notice, it has your water inside the door and it has your smudge proof stainless steel on the outside. If you open it up, tons of space. Spot for your frozen orange juice, has your ice maker inside, cut out for your gallon of milk. This will just lift up, you can take that out of there. Plenty of room for meat and eggs, anything you want to put in it. If you notice, you have your control center here, nicely placed behind the door when you come in the trailer. Uh, if you start out, it gives you a neat little coat rack. If we start over here from right to left, this is the button for your power awning. Uh, it's a Weather Pro awning, it'll have adjustable wind sensor on it, so you can adjust it for 16, 18, 20, 22 miles an hour. You get three gusts over that and the awning will automatically put itself in. Also right here, you have an adjustable uh, thermostatic control for your fantastic fan, so you can raise and lower it, turn it on and off. And right above that, you have your power control system. Uh, it'll tell your AC amps for your air conditioning, your refrigerator, uh, both AC units, and also if you have a washer and dryer hooked up to it. Over here is the controls for your air conditioning. Uh, it's all digital, which gives you a nice easy readout. And then over here, you'll have your hot water pump, some lights, your water heater, which is 12 gallon gas or electric, and then you'll have individual slide out buttons. And then if you get the generator, uh, your start stop button is conveniently placed right here with your hour meter next to it. If we come down here on the left hand side, you have your nice power antenna. You don't have to crank up your antenna anymore. You can just hit the buttons to adjust everything. And then right underneath that, they put a plug so you can charge up your cell phone or anything else you need to charge up. Uh, if you come over here, you have tons of pantry space. Uh, if you notice, you have plenty of space. Adjustable shelves once again if you want to add some shelves. Uh, this little box, it doesn't go in there. That's for the leveling system outside, but we'll get to that later. If you notice, you have your nice large granite steps. Uh, they put the grip tape on them, so if your feet are wet, uh, it gives you better traction. Also, if you notice underneath that, you have your uh, kick plate right here for your central back. So when you're sweeping everything up, all you got to do is kick that on. It'll suck everything up in, in there, and you can empty your uh, Dirt Devil central back from outside underneath your storage compartment. If you notice on your mobile suite, one of the things that they're known for is their insulation and the heating and cooling ability. Uh, if you notice, they have two returns on the outside of the trailer. You don't see your return down the middle of the trailer like you do on every other trailer. Uh, what they do is they call this bathing. It kind of does a windmill motion. The air goes down, comes up back through the top, goes through the returns, and goes in and out, which helps cool your trailer more efficiently. Also, if you notice, you have your ceiling fan up in the top, and you have ducts that run both down both sides of the trailer. Uh, this helps keep your trailer cool when it's hot outside, and then you also have all your heating ducts through the floor, which make it nice. Uh, everything's ran parallel from the floor to ceiling. It's all H duct and runs down the sides of the trailer. Uh, you notice they put returns everywhere, so it makes it easier to heat and cool.